What's up, guys? It's Alex. It's Quinn. It's Iconic Comic, and we are back on our road to Infinity War with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Really excited because we are home stretch now. We are how many days away? Five. We are five <laughs> days away from Probably Infinity four War. four when this video gets uploaded, most likely. Yeah. Um, and also, guys, we want to say we are so close to 10,000 subscribers. It's not even funny. It, we might hit 10k by this by the time this gets uploaded. But we're about 50 away right now. Um, so by the time this video actually gets uploaded, we may have already crossed it. Uh, so a pre a preemptive thank you to everybody who has Couldn't do subscribed and uh, shared and done done all that good stuff for us. Uh, like we said, we're definitely uh, within like you know in the coming days. Uh, and weeks, we will be doing lots of celebratory things uh, like giveaways and all sorts of things like that. If there's anything that you guys have ideas, you know, ways to celebrate that we haven't thought of, definitely drop a comment down below and let us, let us know. And, uh, yeah, Infinity right. War. <laughs> so we're, we're so close, but now Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I will say, this was one of those Marvel movies where, in a not, not in an Iron Man 2 way, a different way, I like, I like more every time I watch it. Yeah, I I agree with that. Um, especially since you know what they've gone through as mm -hmm. a unit, as a team, so that, um, as a Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> what are we? Some kind of Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> um, I gotta say though, the soundtrack not as strong, but it's still really good. Oh yeah, and I think it's it's strong in a different way. Like than the first I think one. we were just used to, not really used to, but it, we kind of put it up on this pedestal like, okay, is it going to be better? Yeah. Which I still don't think it's better than the first one. No, but it's, for me, it's on par at least. Yeah. Um, like, it, it, it met my expectations. It, Definitely. All right, well, so. Let's just get into this. Let's go ahead and get into this, guys. Uh, there's going to be a timer in the bottom corner for you guys to sync up your copy of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And without further ado, 3, 2, 1, play. 1, 2, 3. God, this intro just doesn't get old. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, wait till we see the new one. I know. <laughs> <laughs> now, I remember yesterday you said. Like, it's a little lame, and it was like cat followed by cat, but I think the point was to tra transition from comic to now, this maybe, is the cinematic maybe. stuff. Maybe. Because it started with all comic stuff. Maybe. I like the little drum beat in there, too. Blah, 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 blah. This song's a payoff later. Oh, I know. I really like this song. I do, yeah. yeah. Copyright. I'm okay. <laughs> Whatever. It's no even. It's really cool to think about how it. how this song actually does pay off later. If you actually listen to the lyrics, it's actually a fairly deep song. Like, and if you know, he wouldn't have said it slowly. I may not have really picked up on that. Yeah. Is it girl? Dude, the de aging is getting stupid. The de aging. On Kurt Russell. Look at that. That looks like the thing. Or Escape from New York. <laughs> what? I, just, I don't know. I, I didn't think it looked that bad. I bought it. No. I, that's what I'm saying. Oh. I'm saying it looks amazing. Because the, oh. <laughs> the thing in Escape from New York were movies he were he was in in the 80s. Like, it looks like him from that those movies. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> No. I thought I thought you yeah. were just shitting on it. Like no, it looks I amazing. Think, I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, I, this might be. I, in my opinion, this might be the best DA really? thing we've seen. Really? Really? Uh, yeah. yeah, we all know. Like that's not from Earth. Somehow, no animal decided to come by and <laughs> eat it, though. See that right there? Like he's being serious. Oh yeah. But she just thinks he's like high or whatever. What? Well, maybe not high, but I think he. She really does believe he's a space dude. So you think they just did it right there <laughs> in the woods? Uh, probably. Oh, 
Probably, yeah. This 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 reminds me of the Hulk movie. Yeah. The very beginning. <laughs> and where like it starts turning green through his yeah. veins. <laughs> oh man. Boom! So that puts it at 2014 still. So this movie takes place then. Guardians have such a good theme. I know. I have mm, not a gripe. I'm gonna call it a gripe about this scene. <laughs> um, talking about the Groot scene. Yeah, the Groot part. See, for me, I think it's it works very well as just a, like an opening credits. I don't think it's as funny. As it as, was the first time. I, I didn't and think it was... as funny as they wanted it to be. That's what I meant to say. But it's not like... I hate this part. It doesn't take away from the movie, yeah. Now, is he really Baby Groot? Because everybody calls him Baby Groot. I feel like he's more like Toddler Groot right now. Like, talking. Uh, I don't know. I feel like Baby Groot's when he's in the jar. Dancing. Well, he's a baby because he's small. God, I love Drax so much. I think a toddler could do that a lot faster. So yeah, I'd still say baby. I do like the hips. <laughs> so it's funny right now. I think the funnier stuff is actually what goes on behind him while he's doing this and not paying attention. The alien creature is actually pretty dope. Yeah. Like the way it spits out that like colorful stuff and then it like it's almost like a gas and it catches on fire. <laughs> so I think I've asked this before, but is Peter Quill enhanced? I mean, at this point, a little bit, because he's half celestial. Yeah, but, I mean, being thrown across... Well, like, the... that's not happening to him. That's happening to Drax. I know, I'm just saying. But he, he was thrown across the... Now, if you notice, he he does wear, like, knee pads. Stuff like that. Hi. That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> you know, James Gunn did the dancing. Really? For Baby Root. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. A little play off the first movie. <laughs> this was our, in my opinion... Our first real big step towards Infinity War, like, yeah, just not like, not like really pushing the Infinity War plot for, but like, this was the first Marvel movie of 2017. It's like, oh, this is happening next year. Like, it's this is the big one. Well, plus, you know how how big how big it was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, who who were they fighting? A planet. Yeah. That's my freaking father. <laughs> like a good probably minute and 20 seconds too long. And that's my biggest, probably, like, eh, about this movie. Yeah. I The f little fourth wall break a little bit there. <laughs> Hitting the camera. That's... I like that he goes back just into goes it. Just goes right back <laughs> into dancing. I like how him and Drax kind of hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> little whip. Be 
<laughs> like she turned He's like, like wait, huh? what? <laughs> what? That's a good shot. This is really cool in the trailers. <laughs> you know, we never bring up Star Lord and Gamora as you know, one of the top relationships in comic book movies. But I think they're up there. I really like their chemistry. Especially yeah. in this movie. Oh, yeah. I will not... I will not succumb to your pelvic sorcery. I love it how she's like, fine, I'll go with swords. Like, yeah. <laughs> a good move. Nice. This reminds me of Men in Black, the first movie. Mm-hmm. What a badass. <laughs> this makes me laugh so hard. <laughs> what are they called again? Annual X Batteries. Hope you learned that. And I'm just going to take that. I like how the the trench coat's new because it wasn't trench coat in the first movie. It was like leather jacket. Mm -hmm. I I do like the trench coat. Like the way she looks at her. Mm. Like, I know, girl. <laughs> I would be honored. Yes, in the name of research. <laughs> Chris Pratt is amazing. I know. He's my favorite person ever. <laughs> Dude, it really hurt hurt my heart when him and Anna Ferris. I up. know. I'm still a little hurt. But in a way, I, you know, how nice they were about it. Like it wasn't anything mean, and like. Oh yeah, we we haven't heard anything about it. Ooh. Tell it to her face when she's about to be killed by Thanos. Or did you hear her say, bring it? I like I'm Aisha. a celestial bitch. Aisha is a weird name like for it. an alien, though. I feel like that's a name I would hear on Earth. He lets the southern accent slip a little bit every now and then. He ain't from Missouri. But what's funny is he he would probably pick up, because you know how, like, if you're in your, you know, prepubescent years and you move to England and you live there for, like, 30 years, you're, you're going to, like, form somewhat of an English accent. He probably has more of a southern twang because of all the years spent with Yondu. Well, yeah. I love his laugh. It's so contagious. He just doesn't care who's around. Ha 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 I wouldn't want to go to the movies with him though. No, not at all. <laughs> but the music fits, like with everything. My favorite though is when they when they first get to ego. 
Like they get to the planet. Oh. I like the end fight scene. Oh yeah, some, with uh, Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood Mac. You, you know they, they played it twice. I know. I know. I was actually thinking about that on the way here. That's a, also a gripe of mine. Really? I think it's fine because I think it fits so perfectly with the, but with both scenes. It's two different parts of the song, so it sounds different, but still, it it's just. I, f- I feel like he got more dad bod buff in this movie. Like he's still definitely in really good shape, but like. The first movie, it was like chiseled everything. I mean, I'd still take it, like if I had his body. Oh, like, oh would you take it? Oh my god! I would love to just hang out with them. <laughs> <laughs> Damn shadow, he called him. <laughs> oh god! I cannot wait for Drax and Tony Stark to have a conversation. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That, I love this part. <laughs> the hand on the shoulder right after that. Love mm. how he's so honest. I'm hungry. Can I say that? No, I'm hungry. No, it's not like this. And I hate you. And I hate you. So that, are they like bananas? Like you have to wait for them to ripen up, I guess. A little bit. That's another thing that I think that of, joke went on too many times. A little it bit. It did, yeah. Especially later. It, Even her and Drax do it. It's funny. It's but then, the one with after she shoots Yondu. Yeah, that's the one that bothers me a little bit because it's like like it's so not funny. Like I don't I don't even think the writers thought it was funny when they heard it. <laughs> what a mystery this is. <laughs> Dude, Drax is the like unsung like comedic hero of these movies. Because it's like he's not trying to be funny. That's the best part. You've seen Galaxy Quest, right? Mm-hmm. This asteroid field reminds me of that scene where it's like, we're going through the minefield. Like, oh, yeah. I love how Drax is standing. He's, like he's holding the, uh, the oh shit handle. That is the closest I've ever come to sneezing without sneezing, <laughs> and I'm pissed. On commentary. God damn. I'm pissed off. Dude, I love when Rocky gets pumped up. <laughs> Like, right after, oh, yeah. This was pretty brilliant, to make it almost like an arcade. And then when the one kid's, like, about to get the high score and everybody's around him. Yeah. Less than 50 subscribers, folks. This may happen on camera. Who knows? (laughs) Of the order. Oh, even their eyes are yellow like now, or gold. now he's pumped like what <laughs> what were they trying to do <laughs> I guess just warning fire I guess, yeah. get him to land first time I saw it though when it came up I called it burr hurt <laughs> burr hurt <laughs> burr hurt that's the thing, Saris. My ship is carrying mines. I love Galaxy Quest. That's an underrated Tim Allen movie and an underrated science fiction movie. <laughs> that would be us. <laughs> 
That is a really cool idea, though. Like a quantum, like the asteroids phase in and out. Mm hmm. So I put a turn in there. Oh, won't be my turn. It'll be Drax's. I have famously used turn. And the yeah. Yikes. What if I just threw him back? Well, I think he knew that he, someone would be catching him. <laughs> it's like Galaga. Batman's playing Galaga. She's like the mother figure to Groot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one I'm okay with. Yeah. Or for fun. <laughs> Space suit, that's cool. That reminded me of Galaxy Quest a little bit, too. They get pretty messed up. Like, they're lucky their ship didn't blow up. That would really hurt. <laughs> Dude. You suck, <laughs> you suck. You suck, suck. Hey, uh, didn't you die first, bitch? <laughs> I know, why are you even over here? Shouldn't you be playing? And then... Like, whew. like Rocket gave the look. Like we're done. Mm -hmm. What? Ooh. <laughs> Guy. <laughs> I love when Gamora realizes Drax is hanging. <laughs> oh my god. He's still out there. <laughs> my god. <laughs> Drax gets messed up. Gamora is stronger than m m most people think. Like, mm -hmm. Being chicklets or something like that. <laughs> At this point... All she's really doing is making sure that he doesn't get lost too far behind. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bert. 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 Bert Chrysler. Yeah. <laughs> Bert Crystals. Bert. <laughs> that was awesome. Does he not feel pain? <laughs> I feel like in a Thor kind of way, he it like embraces up. it. Good line. Better line. <laughs> Better line. <laughs> <laughs> 
They're called a Dick. Closer, I'm showing you much larger. If it's how I say works, you see the record. Don't call me our code. I like how the the uh the mask is always on his ear. Mm-hmm. So many people are going to have some nanotech te- technology come Infinity War. <laughs> you got like excited. <laughs> I like his ship though. It's like an egg. And it like burrows into the ground. Can you keep your hand on your side of the chair? Thank you. <laughs> like, as soon as we saw him, we knew it was a dad. Oh, yeah. Who the hell are you? my rugged good luck to make that up. My name is Ego. And I'm your dad, dear. So... There was a really cool rights story because Ego is obviously not Peter Quill's father in the comics. It's a different guy. I can't remember his name exactly. But um, they wanted Ego to be the, his father in this universe. I'm okay with him in that setting. Yeah. But Fox owned the rights to Ego, the, the living planet. While Marvel owned the rights to not... Negasonic Teenage Warhead, but Negasonic Teenage Warhead's power base, because the powers are different than from the comics, and so to trade, Fox gave them Ego the Living Planet, and Marvel gave Fox the powers for Negasonic Teenage Warhead, so she would have them for the Deadpool movie, the power base. Hmm. So he could just get done laying some rope, sex robot. <laughs> I think so, yeah, because he zipped up his pants. I love the way Yondu first addresses, uh, I can't remember his name, but Sylvester Stallone's character. Rocky. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Is it weird how well Sylvester Stallone fits, though? So that was Yondu's master or teacher or whatever. Kind of like how he is for Quill. Right. His captain. Captain. I, I, so that's just alone. I feel like has gotten better with age. He's like a, he's like a fine wine. Like his acting has actually like gotten better like over the course. Like how he is in Creed. He's oh, yeah. great in Creed. In the Raw, but in, like, Rocky movies, like, one through f- four? I think It's not just... about acting. No. The wasn't. first one's really, really, really good. Like, the first Rocky. Ooh, I love this scene. Why did that? Why did that pop in my head? The all spark. <laughs> when he said, "I don't know why." Don't don't ask me why. It just happened. Um, I feel like <laughs> imagine like Sylvester Stallone getting in your face and doing a pump up speech like right before like some big event. Like it's like. He was an 8 mile. The other guy. That guy? Uh, on the left. Oh. 
Uh, Here's uh. I don't remember. Forget his name. I only know a couple of the people's names in it. Ah, uh, Cheddar. Cheddar. Okay. This is pretty funny. <laughs> like they did this whole setup just so she didn't have to walk in the snow. It's just so slow, though. <laughs> the music. <laughs> How long's the carpet? Hella long, apparently. Oh, I'd be a pain in the ass to get that back rolled up. I feel like with those assholes just leave it there. I would. Look how long, look how many people are with her. Because you're crazy! Yondu survived. What? Then again, this whole time, Yondu was my actual blood relative? You look exactly alike. Why did you blue? <laughs> <laughs> like, when he continues to look, he just. Look at him. <laughs> just complete judgment. How do you locate this now? Well, from where I reside out past the edge of what's known, we've heard tell about. What are they eating? Look at the pride he had. Like, they know my name now. Oh no! I felt so bad for him. Even that triangle-faced monkey, and he's like, "What?" He may have been your father, but he was daddy. daddy. Me too. You can just tell when, like, there's a father and son. You can clearly tell just the thing, like, the, how they carry themselves. He's clearly his dad, but... We met her in real life. I was raised by learning the dangers of parents. I do not understand the intricacies of social interaction. She was kind of weird. To be honest, I, I, she she may have been just tired. I don't know. She like she just came back from one of her breaks, I guess. I was telling our audience we met Mantis. Oh yeah, and she was kind of weird. Like well, she's I foreign, I was so like not not because she's foreign. no no no, but like I don't think she speaks English very well. Like, for this movie, she, notice she doesn't have a ton of lines in this movie. It's a few scenes. Well, still. But I, I was expecting to be like, so how, how's, uh, you know, how, how is it working on a Marvel film? How is it? Did you meet Tony yet? I feel like. And, no, like, what, what happened was we went up to her booth and then just she came out from behind there put her arms around us, smiled, took the picture, and walked away. I feel like it was her first con. It felt like it was her first Comic-Con. I thought she was just tired. Well, it was towards the end of the day. Exactly. So lay off. I hate that story. It's so sad. As a kid, I used to see all the other kids off playing catch with their dad. I wanted that. More than anything in the world. starting to get heavy. <laughs> no, I know hearing that is funny, but and, and they do they foreshadow a little bit there. It's a pretty nice piece of equipment. 
I know, I can just make anything. It's like stem cells for a <laughs> spaceship. See, I actually do think it is the same. It does hit the chorus here when they're walking out. No, it does. But this part, while it's playing, is a little... We, we don't get this in the end. I like them. I like it both because I think it works for the walkout and that. The very end fight scene, it, it's the very beginning. Smart. <laughs> Slow motion walk walk away. Is there just the purple? Why is Drax got to carry all this shit? <laughs> He's the muscle. <laughs> That's a cool shot. I really want that trench coat. <laughs> it's probably really <laughs> expensive. I'll look it up. You know, look up Star Lord's trench coat from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. <laughs> that's a fantastic. That's almost like an interstellar shot. Can I ask you a personal question? Do I have ever Three hundred and four dollars. Dude. Spit it out. What is it? What? You better say something. Spit it out. I was saying we still haven't heard that line that was written in the uh, the breakdown of the Comic Con trailer for Infinity War, where Mantis says death follows him like a shadow. And I'm wondering where that's gonna pop up in. No one's talked about Mantis dying. I'm sure that's a possibility. No, no I don't. <laughs> it's it's more him just like come on dude like <laughs> I love that <laughs> So I just go there and touch her. Ooh. Oh, but I feel Aww. bad for her. Oh. <laughs> she looked at her. <laughs> <laughs> be amazing though right god I'd like that I like this song too oh yeah it works great with this scene I was just thinking of it because earlier like somebody said son of a bitch I think my favorite joke in Thor Ragnarok is when Surtur's like Thor son of Odin He's like, Surtur, son of a bitch, you're still alive. <laughs> it's a lot of ravagers. Ugh. Spiders. I, Ugh. Forgot, I forgot he ate it. Ugh. What a piece of trash.
<laughs> sound like the, like the oven's been on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's such he's so smart it's like he knew <laughs> I noticed the window got taken out <laughs> Bop it. Twist it. <laughs> right. I don't know how I feel about that. It seems it it looks like it's on Shrek. <laughs> like it, that, I don't know. <laughs> this is awesome. I just noticed he's counting them as they go by, so you make sure he has the right number. It just shows how awesome he is by by himself. Oh yeah. What if he kills Thanos? <laughs> You think so? And I need that guy's glove. <laughs> and then just... Nice.
Again, I'm still, like, I'm buying into this whole thing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't think there was a... I don't think I really went like, oh, he's the bad guy until he says the line. Oh, yeah. You know, the line. What? What? Five days. What? Five days. Four days. Five? Five? Five. I thought you said something because you were taking off your shoes and you said bye. I thought you were saying like, like bye shoes. <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you said shoe. I thought you said bye babes. <laughs> <laughs> or have you have you seen like in the? I'm, I don't know if you've seen the episode of The Simpsons, but it's like Homer's got like all the snacks around him, and he goes bye bye belt, <laughs> like, and like whips it off like. Whoosh. I remember somebody on Twitter would like went like in the words of Homer Simpson, bye bye belt. <laughs> This is pretty this horrifying. This is messed up. Really messed up. Yeah, that's really horrifying. Pretty sick and twisted. That would suck hardcore. What's really even more twisted is to see how many they've already killed. Jesus. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot of people. Yeah, Andua Fell is just giving up at this point. Can't do anything. Right. Uh, Craglin seems to be regretting this already. <laughs> what a dumbass. <laughs> I love the more he keeps going, even his own crew is like, yeah, this is bullshit. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm still with you. <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> you shut up. The detail on Rocket's really good. I love how he snuck Sir in there. <laughs> you know, it would really be a kick ass name. Moronic shit pack. <laughs> Just so calm and cool collect. Like someone gets in your face, like you moronic shit pack. <laughs> oh, daddy? So is Yondu Cree? I don't know. Because the Kree are similar skin tone. Dude, that's something I didn't think about. 
We might see Yon doing the Captain Marvel movie since her power base is from the Kree. Dude, well, I know Coulson's going to be in it. Mm-hmm. It's going to be cool to see him back in the in the film universe. He was not re- not ready for this to happen. <laughs> By the way, just uploaded the Doctor Strange movie commentary to Patreon for our early access patrons. If you want to get all these movie commentaries, even past Road to Infinity War, so whenever we do a movie commentary or a podcast or a movie review, so our including our Infinity War review, you're going to get early access to that. If you are a patron, go check that out. Plug over. This form will wither and perish. So why didn't you come back? Why did you send Yondu, a criminal of all people, to come and defend? I loved your mother, Peter. I couldn't stand the sex foot on an earth where she wasn't living. You can't imagine what that's like. I know exactly what that feels like. See, I'm buying all this, though. Who? <sighs> I hit hard. Dude, I am so tired. <laughs> like, I just hit this wall, and it's not this movie. Gosh. Do you want another Coke Zero? Ugh. I'm dying. God. We got this. We need this. <laughs> we owe it to ourselves. But yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> He's been waiting so long to find one of his offspring that could do that. <laughs> I'm assuming he can only do that on this planet. Maybe. Well, he definitely can't do it anymore. Mm-hmm. That sucks. That would have been useful. I'm going to play catch. It's a little goofy. (laughs) I don't know if they meant it to be like... Because he said earlier how how much he wanted to play catch with his dad. So I don't know if this is supposed to be serious or funny. I think it's supposed to be serious. This is kind of goofy. Like the look he gives him like, come on. This part though. I love this part. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> There's certain lines, it's just like, come on now. <laughs> Not like the screenwriting, I mean just like the characters. It's like, like that. <laughs> <laughs> she was like you. D- Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> this part, though, I love this. Mm-hmm. Ooh, <laughs> he gave me some goosebumps. I still say it. Like, how much he's carrying inside of him. Do you think she heard? It's Chris Bugley. <laughs> it's the it's the slight because she was already smiling, but the slight bigger smile after she said she's ugly. Like I'm learning new things, like how I'm a pet and I'm ugly. I'm a flea with a purpose. I have to pee again. Don't fart right here. Come on. Oh, thank God. I'm seriously fading away so fast. I had pancakes this morning. I forgot what I had for lunch. I thought this was the same dude in the beginning of Gar- Guardians 1, but I was wrong. I think Quinn said it earlier, but these two work really well on screen with each other. You'll see why later. The stuff with Yondu in this movie just gets me really sad. Slow down. You might deserve this, but I don't. We gotta get out of here. There's Quill. Caught the dead man. We won't. Yeah. Today for dumbass man. <laughs> he smiled. And for a second, I got a warm. I'm surprised he didn't say anything about him knowing. Ego. Why didn't you deliver the tool to go like the promise? I'm strong. I feel like a place to be killed now. This is kind of sad, too, man. can't wait until we get to the part where Groot gets to get some revenge. Did he step on him there? I hope he didn't step on him. I love this scene so much. Oh, man. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. Did you make me coffee? Yeah. Oh my god. <sighs> it's probably really hot. So, what's in it? Uh, chocolate caramel. Seriously? Yeah. Oh my god. Godly. Oh my god. I was seriously dying. I, I, I was like... Just the smell probably is like... Bobbing my head. This is my favorite one. Rockets <laughs> Ray. <laughs> I love the next one. I think it's the We told you it's this big. <laughs> Rockets facial expressions are the best. And then and then Yandu's like mm -mm. Okay. Then let's just agree to never discuss this. <laughs> the drawing you want to open has this <laughs> I'm back. Oh my god. <laughs> Sp Spider Man 2. I'm back <laughs> What? No. He thinks you want him to wear it as a hat. That's not what I said. <laughs> This coffee's good. <laughs> Chocolate and caramel. Walden Farms. Walden Farms. Unofficial sponsor. Zero calorie. Everything. That's why you don't like hats. We are forty subscribers away from ten thousand. Keep it coming, folks. Oh my gourd. Easy, don't burn yourself. Oh, I'm fine. Oh, I'm good, Arrow Guy. <laughs> I love the, the dumb epic music. <laughs> he like, grabs the wrong thing. I knew he would, too. <laughs> I knew when it panned back. <laughs> You probably wouldn't want to throw that around. Yeah, probably not. Ooh. What if he hit Groot when he did that? Isn't that also in Galaxy Quest? There, that was their thing. The was it? I'm pretty sure that it wasn't a double tap, but it was definitely a. Mm -hmm. Here's my thing: Were those guards like not there beforehand? Ooh. Or were they just like off duty? I guess they were just off duty at that point. Damn. Have you ever seen a thing where it's like this this whole scene is way more dark to a different song? No, I like it was like a it was like a screamo song. It was like killing everybody. And it's like this is really dark. He kills a lot of people. Yep. But it's okay because there's music playing. I love how I love how Marvel's not afraid to kill people. Oh, sir. I love how everybody's like DC is so dark. They have all these not like, but they always get. It's such an ox look again coming from DC fans. It's the DC fanboys that I can't stand. You know what I mean? Where they're like, 
Marvel's for kids, DC's serious. Oh, it's serious, but at the same time, you get mad when Batman and Superman kill people? Really? I feel like killing people is serious. <laughs> Look at... They're they are all dead. Dude, so many dead... Dead let people. The bodies hit the floor. God damn it, it's cool, man. I wish he was in Infinity War. I know. How big and so small? So it makes it fly faster, I guess. Probably. Plus, it looks cooler. Yeah. I'd say more true to some of the comics. Oh yeah, for sure. Is he grabbing his ear? This dude. <laughs> I like how they just—he just leaves his twigs there. Is that cheddar? Yep. Cheddar! Cheddar Bob. So the first movie, Rocket was on Groot's shoulder. And then Groot's on Rocket's shoulder. This is cool, how they use the cameras really to like cool. kill everybody. But and then Rocket I love how Rocket too. starts shooting. This is so awesome. That's an amazing shot. That's so awesome. Oh! Interactive environments. <laughs> I love this first shot. <laughs> Just... And then the shot from the trailer. That was the first trailer, wasn't it? The very first one. It's the very end of that trailer. Yeah. Freaking laughing. So many people are dying. <laughs> dead, dead. Oh, so much death right now. This piece of <laughs> shit. <laughs> By the way, who voted Taserface as like the leader of this convoy? Ooh, I love that. Put some stank on it. <laughs> Again, I said it before. The detail on Rocket is really good. He looks like a real raccoon. <laughs> I'm not a raccoon. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> I love this one. I love this so much because she's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I didn't realize how big the Ravager ship actually was. Oh, it's big. It's big. I, I kind of wish I I made a cup of coffee for myself. <laughs> Like, you have no idea how, like, I don't know if you, if you saw me fading. <laughs> oh, I did. Okay, yeah. I saw you put the mic in your lap. Like, I was getting comfy. Hey. The, are those the, are, is that Korg species? I think so. This is hilarious. Going on a trip. <laughs> <laughs> Baby crew. Ah. I guess this could all be my suspicion. I love this song too. Rocket? Rocket, are you there? The lighting's all this natural lighting. <laughs> mm-hmm. What are you doing today? <laughs> Greatest earth singers of all time. Dude, this is you. Oh yeah. You you are you are you, you are Star Lord. <laughs> yep. Hey, Rocket. Hey, Rocket. Like I'm I'm always asked like 
if you were a Marvel character, who would you be? Would you be Cap? Would you be Iron Man? Thor? Nope. Star Lord. I'd be Star Lord. Who? <laughs> Star Lord, man. I, I, they have, they, they have to do that again in Infinity War, but like with an Avenger, like Tony Stark, like I'm Star Lord. Who? God, not again, really? Like, <laughs> thought we settled this. <laughs> How is she so attractive with all this green makeup and everything? I don't know, man. I like it, though. Like, I'd be okay with like her being my wife just like that, like right now. <laughs> green? I'd take her out on the town. I'd be like, hey, look, this is my green wife. <laughs> this is my green wife. <laughs> my green wife. And this... And this green whore. She's oh, would you stop it? Thirty-nine. God, I hope we get it today. Mm-hmm. We're getting there. You're jealous because I'm part God and you like when I'm the weak one. You really suck at this thing very much. Um, what are we talking? When you go outside and you're trying to get sick. You know what? This is not cheers after all. <laughs> this is whatever the show is where one person is willing to open themselves up to new possibilities and the other person is a jerk who doesn't trust anybody. It's a show that doesn't exist. That's why it would get zero ratings. I don't know what cheers is. <laughs> I finally found my family. Don't you understand that? Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Uh, 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 ouch. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Sweet sword. Some loud ass kids mm-hmm. outside. Just yelling. Jeez. Blah. Blah. <laughs> Ooh. Now, Ego is a pretty big planet, so I'm not sure how she found Gamora that fast. Damn. So now, now I just start. I started thinking, why would she want to kill Gamora? Because then, yeah, you you could best her one time, but then you can never do it again. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is just Gamora is the reason Nebula is the way she is physically. Right. Every time Gamora beat Nebula, Thanos ripped a body part off of Nebula and replaced it with machinery. God, that's dark. God. <laughs> She's crazy strong. That has to be. I know. It has to weigh a lot. That's got to be at least a thousand pounds. I just noticed that part of her leg, like. Ugh.
Oh. The the leg. Ugh. It's like, come on. Give me a break. Give me a Give break. Me a break. <laughs> She's a kid. We don't grant visas to weapons of mass destruction. Oh, come on, Tony. Ooh. Getting heavy. <laughs> cool. Those are sparks flying in the background. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh. Thanos is such a piece of shit. <laughs> Ripped her brain from her head. Just visualize that. Like, well, they play Brandy more than once in this movie too. You didn't have a gripe with that because it has to do with the plot. It's. I mean, it's the same with with Thor. Thor three. See, but in a way, you can just say it's a callback. It's fortuitous. You know, again, it doesn't take away from the story, for for me anyway. One of Earth's greatest musical compositions, perhaps its very greatest. Yeah, I don't know about all that. You ever heard? Of, you ever heard of Shine Down? <laughs> you like Shine Down because I like Shine Down. Shut up! No. <laughs> Second chance. Come on. I didn't even know they were coming out with a new album. I did. Bitch. The sea calls the sailor back. He loves the girl, but that's not yours. Sea calls upon him. History calls upon great men. Sometimes we are deprived of the pleasures of war. It means no fear. Death will remain a stranger to both of us. Like burning the wind together. I am proud. Imagine being told <laughs> Just, that. Uh, <laughs> His face. He's like, oh my god. The lucky to build cool things like how you made this whole planet. <laughs> but it might take you a few million years of practice. Or you get really good at it, but as what? This is a few million what years. I'm for an 800 foot statue of Pac Man with Skeletor and Heather Locklear. Who do you want? I'm gonna make some weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's so you. you were gonna, I'm gonna make some weird shit. <laughs> get ready for an 800 foot Master Chief outside. <laughs> right? Could you make food? I mean, how think, does it eat? I, I don't think you would need food if you were. Just saying, like if you were immortal, like pancakes. Oof. You just say shit, and the bed opens up, and. He's such a piece of shit. That's not how this easy. works. You are in danger. So they're cool now? 
So, <laughs> so we done here? Here, 37. I know. It's like one every... Right now we're on a rate of like one every two minutes. We are forever. Forever. Not if you have a purpose, which is why we're here. I told you how all Oh boy, here it comes. It's about to get real. It's about to get real. Real quick. Holy crap. Holy crap. It's all so boring. Oh, just pointing. And that. I like how they all kind of discover it at the same time. I know, yeah. See, like, what what this movie does really well is that it gives you the same amount of info as an info dump would, but it doesn't feel like it's being forced on our throat. And also, I really like movies where we're learning as the character's learning. Yeah. But I also do like movies when I, we kind of know a little bit more. I, I like both sides. But I don't like giant info dumps. Right. This part kind of gives me some goosebumps, too. That'd be cool. The music's really good. So it... Damn. So is he a little brainwashed right now? Just slightly? And then, like... The, no, and then the thing I snaps think he's, it out. No, I think I think he's just in awe. E- Ego is showing him eternity. Like holy shit! Not like all we'd the be dead the same people. way. Yeah. No, not the dead people. I'm just saying, like, is Ego kind of just? Oh, here we go. <laughs> I love that. Speaking of Stan Lee, though, it's have you heard all the crap that's going around with it? Yeah, him? it's stupid. Dude, it's pissing me off. But did you see his response? I don't even think that's his response. Like, I don't buy it. I think someone's writing that shit for him. I like it's really pissing me off. Like, he, like people taking advantage of him. You watched the video of him talking. Are we talking about two different things, maybe? Maybe because he he there was a written like release about like his daughter and everything. Yeah, but then he got on YouTube and called just called B, BS on all of it. Yeah, but it's not BS though. I think he's just trying to protect his daughter a little bit because it's still his daughter. Because it I, is they did know, the research. Like it's I don't real. know what happened to begin with though. Basically, a lot of people are taking advantage of him and his money and his estate because he's old and like getting him to sign certain things and sign away money like without like oh here sign this like you know, it's like God it ooh. like I would be Stanley's bodyguard for free. Oh yeah, and anybody who got near him just ooh. bam. This was a relationship I didn't expect going into this movie. I know, yeah. I think he really changed. They both, in a way, but Yondu really changes Rocket's mentality. Oh yeah. But I think in turn he kind of does the same to Yondu later. Damn, Gamora. You people. I know. That's kind of badass power, though. To be honest, would it work on Thanos? If it could work on a celestial, it could work on a titan. Like you are scared, and then no, you are <laughs> like a grape, <laughs> like a bug, like a mantis. <laughs> so stupid. So he planted a seed and then planted a seed. <laughs> yeah, essentially. 35. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> I do kind of wonder what what would it actually do, though? What? Would he just be able to do, like, his powers wherever he is? Or, like... I don't really know. I feel like he's just kind of, like, 
F it, I'm bored. Let's just make everything me <laughs> at this point. Like, I've been alive for millions of years. Yeah. He's starting to like, huh? But I think he's a little under still because he's kind of smirking still. Like he's buying it. That's gross. Why can they? Why can they just let him go? <laughs> I don't know. Six sadistic fuck. Now this. Oh my god. I I remember how I felt in the theater when this happened. It's the camera. The way how yeah. everything around it zooms out, but it zooms in on his face. I, I don't know how they do that. It, it's a camera technique. They did it in Jaws too. Yeah. Uh, you know that shot in Jaws when it goes to Brody's face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've seen it quite a few times, but I just I. It don't works very it. well in this, though. It's like they zoom out but move the camera in at the same time. For the first time in my existence, I am truly not alone! But I kind of feel bad for him, too, because he's like the only one of his race left. And he's trying to... I mean, I don't feel bad enough for him that I'm you know, on his side, but... He's like, yes, I understand. <laughs> yes, yeah, awesome, yeah, awesome. Now, Ooh. Here it goes. Oh my god. I feel like everybody in the theater at once went, oh shit. I returned to Earth to see her three times. Do you believe him? I do, yeah. Like he actually loved her. I do believe it. Like he yes. had, he had to do it. it heart, oh god! What? <laughs> what? Oh god! That's that's almost the same effect as you remember in in Civil War when you hear. Tony's mom say Howard and he looks at Bucky like it just shows him go yeah like, <laughs> suited you <laughs> 34 I think this hurts That would suck. I feel like I've heard that name before. Ascovari. Like I feel like they said it in the first movie somewhere. I might be crazy. But... Like like a girl that that Peter slept with. That's cool. The face. Like a at. Asperian chicks stab me right here. Is that? I, think I don't be, know if I'm right, but it, so, it sounds right. I could be spewing some BS. Oh, w which made you more mad, the tumor thing or this? <laughs> I think this because this was his last gift from his mom. Yeah, dude, the emotion in Peter's face when it when it when he breaks it. Ah, uh, God, it hurts, man. Do you think he's going to get an iPod and, like, <laughs> well, well, and Tony he's, Stark? He's got a Zoom. So. Dude, what if Tony, well, Zoom's, like, 2004. Like, what if Tony Stark, like, have you ever heard of ACDC? Oh, uh, they bond over music. Uh, uh. Right before this gets really awesome, I got to pee. That would really suck. I love how he doesn't Product drop placement. his food. Product placement. DQ. Oh, 
Wait, please, you gotta listen to this part real fast. I love this line so damn much. Ready? So when he's running towards the shit, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the way, dumber, smaller group. Rut row, Raggy. What's Smurfette doing here? <laughs> Raboon. Father and son. Shitload of piss. <laughs> father and son working together. Yep. Well, not father. Daddy. Daddy. Disgusting. Just hanging out. <laughs> uh, that's funny. He's like, oh shit. It's a lot of them. I like how it's like a beehive. Yeah, the jumps mm -hmm. are like the jump points. I wonder how many jumps it is from there to Earth. Is that probably a lot? So Aisha's actually in a ship. Mm -hmm. Hey, boss, you know that? Remember that Aisha chick? <laughs> How many batteries did Rocket actually steal? Like two? Like who gives a shit? Like, I thought I thought it took like three or four. Again though, seriously, who gives a shit? <laughs> Why is Groot alone? Someone needs to be carrying him. Right. I wish they kind of had like like a baby pack, like somebody had it, like <laughs> or car seat. <laughs> I 
I like how eerily quiet it got when they got to the core. What if they just put water on him? And then he could grow. I don't think he works that way. <laughs> how do you know? It's a plant. You're right, but how do you know either? <laughs> like, it's not real. <laughs> how dare you? So honestly, if the Sovereign didn't show up, this would have been easy peasy. It wouldn't even been really that big of a deal. Because they would have sawed right through this thing. Because they're the reason they got thrown off course. <laughs> yeah, they would have... Like, why didn't he just turn into them? <laughs> it's a long-ass fall. <laughs> Superhero landings. Even Mantis gets one. Yeah, three. God, those people are petty. No, wait, no, there's two. I'm sorry. I fucked up. I, I like this. They jump out together. That's a good shot. There's The score for the, this is amazing. I think Avengers and Guardians have the best themes. Oh, for sure. He's coming. You got this, Mantis. Is this like tongue rolling out? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Imagine if he started to... Oh, that's a good shot. <laughs> Imagine if he started to use his c celestial stuff in this now. in this fight. Oh, they'd be done. Why, why would he put a button on there that would make it... Well, it's probably just a... You know... It's, a sta it's probably a standard remote detonator, so like... He, he could make it for stuff that's like over there. You know what I mean? But he, like, configured it so that it would be for something that's, like, an actual, like, bomb itself. But why not disable that one that's going to blow everybody up? Clearly it's not possible or he would have done it. I love the Drax one. The Drax one kills me. <laughs> so why'd you ask me that? Peace out. I got this. Thirty-two. 
Puts herself on the line here. This part's awesome. <laughs> that looks cool. I know. Nice. <laughs> Got them all. This is awesome. <laughs> so good. Oh, she barely landing. Yeah, like we never see Star Lord doing that kind of shit. No. Like dropping from a hundred feet and sticking the landing. He would take some fall damage. <laughs> <laughs> God. I don't know why I like Nebula's sure Nebula's brush here. Sparks are flying. It's a good shot. Team shot. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I would say it's that, that one. That looks like it's it. <laughs> Where he's probably not even thinking that. He's probably like, oh, shiny. Yeah. Captain. Love that. I love this. Oh, my nipples! <laughs> nice. So we start to get some redemption. <laughs> God, I love that thing. <laughs> That's so awesome. This is pretty dope, too. Oh, yeah. The many who are becoming the few are becoming the one. 
Damn. Get your ride. You think what I'm thinking? Ain't the bushes. bushes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Some movie trivia for you guys out there. What movie? That In the comment section, if you're still with us, what movie was that from? We'll give you one. We'll give you one other quote. <laughs> I'm a peacock. You gotta let me fly. I actually have something, uh, have a person in the MCU in that movie. I'm trying to, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, come on, man. <laughs> He's, well, the one who said one of those lines earlier. Woo! There's some powerful engines. Stop that mm hmm well, the engines can fly through space and time, so I feel like True. they would be powerful engines. In time. God, they almost got fucked up. This is very creepy. Isn't it, though? The music. Dude, it gets me like kind of like not pu pumped. I don't know if it's the right word, but like Tense. when he goes, like when he's almost completely formed, and he and he says the line like, uh, you know, yeah. like something like the universe is bestowed upon you, but it, he wasn't completely formed. He's like almost there. No. This one. Oh. <laughs> there would for sure be people there filming the thing. Oh, yeah. Do that. 29. 29 more subscribers to Dude, go. Dude, the main city of Xandar gets pretty messed up already before Thanos even gets there. Yeah. Xandar's like the New York of space. <laughs> of space. <laughs> the whole planet of those things? God, he's a good villain. Isn't he, though? Phase 3 has the best villains. Right here. Dude, he had... <laughs> going in the mouth. And then... This gives me goosebumps. Fleetwood Max starts to play again. I love that. That right there. Oh, oh man. Yes. <laughs> it's almost like Man of Steel. Like Isn't it, though? <laughs> He's like, huh? Huh? It's such a good line. I want that on a t-shirt. Like, only so few people would understand it, but you shouldn't have killed my mom and squished my Walkman. <laughs> I've been like looking at, as we've been doing the road to Infinity War, like what would be cool tattoos, like certain things. Le look at that! Is the Power Stone under there somewhere? It's Peter's grandpa. Is it? Yeah, from the first movie. Oh. Uh, it is him. Oh. Who like was like you know stay here. Um, Interesting. Oh hey, there it is. Convenient.
Well, you knew he wasn't going to press the wrong one. Right. <laughs> the short movie. Well, not really. <laughs> It'd be a terrible ending. <laughs> He's like uh, frantically running. Just throws Foster. her up there. Maybe a little further from the edge. <laughs> She's just hanging off the goddamn edge. My wife was like you. Disgusting. <laughs> nice. Damn. Nice move. Oh, man. I like how he calls him rat. Who? <laughs> he already knows. He already knows what's going to happen. So one's the jetpack and one's the spacesuit. Yeah. Still don't know what he calls it. The music, though. He's waving by. Twig. When it's swelling up like that. It sounded like he called it an arrow rig. That's what I heard the first time I like arrow him. rig. Yeah. But what does that have to do with jetpack? <laughs> and don't worry about it. <laughs> A little call back here <laughs> to the Pac Man. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so awesome. What would you have created? Um, like a flying Bruce Lee doing a sidekick. <laughs> Chuck Norris beard flying through the air. Just the, just the beard. Arbulary batteries. <laughs> no, they're arbulary batteries. This part gives me goosebumps every damn time, and I I almost tear up a little bit. It's it's Drax's reaction and Rocket's reaction. And the music, Drax, Rocket, all their reactions. <gasps> Gosh. <laughs> oh my god. All the leg all my leg hair is just stood up. Rawr. <laughs> Yes. Noise. It's a really good effect here with uh, Ego. Damn. Ew. Dad dust. <laughs> Well, that's gone. What if Thanos says Star Lord? Like, Star Lord. And he goes, Finally. Like, just like the first one. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> charges, <laughs> charges him and then just. Here it is. Oh, if Star Lord died in Infinity War, you would be. I'd be pissed. <laughs> Did you cry? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<sighs> oh no. That look. Oh. Dude, it's Chris Pratt's acting in this scene. Oh. Wow. Probably the most emotion we've gotten out of the two movies right here. Oh, no. 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 Woo! The last time I watched this, I I cried at the funeral. Woo! Who's cutting onions up in this bitch? <laughs> I get I get emo I get emotional when the Ravagers show up. See, I don't and get emotional then. I get I get emotional when Craglin like when he gets pumped up and and he starts like cry like cry yelling like all those little knickknacks that were like there in the first movie like that he always flew with. Mm-hmm. So he's been to Earth more than once. I think they just go there to pick shit up for Peter and then like... I guess. But Pe that's the thing. So Peter could always go back, but he doesn't want to because that's the place where his mom died. This is where I cried the last time. 27. Okay. <laughs> She's really pretty. <laughs> if Craglin dies in Infinity War, I'm gonna be pissed too. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that one got me. That one got me. That line was in the first trailer. Little did we know. Yeah. It right. was Yondu's funeral. <laughs> Not like her in the back there too. If you if you would have like bet like bet money like who would have died in this movie, I wouldn't have even come close to saying Yondu. Yeah. I would almost guarantee you would have been in Infinity War. I'm just addicted to like, looking at it. What? <laughs> you're you're refreshing your phone just over and over again. I don't know if it's possible either. But you're also looking at it. <laughs> Do you fart? No. What am I smelling then? Oh yeah, I'm smelling 10k. <laughs> Almost close. 27 away right now. Look how fast <laughs> we got that 200. I know. <laughs> I was expecting it to be like a like a t a, a very intense journey till that last day. <laughs> now we're just coasting till Infinity we're just, War. We're just so. Popular. But we will be relaxed that day then. Just damn. See, this part didn't make me tear up though. Wait, but the arrow rig gets burned. So how does Craglin have it at the end? Maybe he made two. Mm -hmm. We didn't know because that that was a prototype. So maybe he made another one. Perhaps. Pete. It's the first time ever, anybody's called Pete. Yeah. 
Did it come with a charger? If not, you're fine. Oh, dude. What everybody's listening to on Earth nowadays. Yeah, not nowadays. <laughs> Did you ever have a Zune back in the day? I had a Walkman. Really? Mm-hmm. I had a, uh, not that Walkman that he had originally. The later but version. I had, um, well, first it, it was a Sony CD player. Oh, yeah. And then it went to a little Walkman. It, lo- it looked like a Zune, but it was like a Walkman. And then I went to iPods, like iPod Shuffle. And... A little dizzy now. Now we can hold thousands of songs. Oh, yeah. Like 300 songs? Not 12? How do you want to be? You want to be buried, cremated? Oh, I don't know. I don't care. Shot in space? I don't care. I'll be dead. (laughs) I thought they kind of... It would have been cheesy, but they also kind of missed an opportunity to play Cats in the Cradle. (laughs) I almost thought they were going to, like... For him and Yandu, like cats in the cradle on the silver spoon. <laughs> Where are Groot's ears? <laughs> on the side of his head. They just holes. Yes. And here they come. I like how Rocket's happy about it. Mm-hmm. Not, not, I like how it makes the arrow too. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then he he goes over to Drax like, hold me. <laughs> Get jacked. I love that shit. God, I love Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> His voice just rattles in my chest. But <laughs> why didn't they do it? Okay, piece of shit. <laughs> I like how Peter makes the connection too. Well, of course not. I missed it. Fuck. What? He said he was like saying like I, I like how they came, even though he yelled and he was mean and stole batteries he didn't need. Like he was comparing himself to Yondu. Almost. It was oh. his way of apologizing, basically. Oh, oh, oh. I never noticed her hair is like sort of red. Yeah. Well, you're also colorblind, slightly. Needs to kind of clean up, clean up the facial hair just a little bit. Like, well, he's had a long day. Well, it's been a long day. <laughs> His makeup's awesome. Yeah, but it takes for to have to do that full body makeup every freaking day of shooting. Cause like six hours of makeup. There it is. And then filming. Ooh, the single tear. <sighs> Boom. There you have it, folks. Will return. Yeah, how did he get this? (laughs) 
Is it just sitting on his head, or did he like dig it, out? It into looks his head? like it's implanted in his head. This would be us, though, trying to figure out how this shit works. <laughs> I'm sorry, we just killed him right there. <laughs> Man. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Uh, two more. I can't, believe, I can't believe this road's coming to an end already. I remember when we started with Iron Man. Yeah, so long it ago. It was a long time ago. Damn. I like how they... Uh, that's like ACDC, isn't it? Like that's yeah. like the ACDC logo. I like how it, in, in the credits it has I am Groot. Groot. Yeah. Uh, man, it's, it's such a good... Phase 3 is just so good. P&G, Peter and Gamora, I would go. There's a Cosmo, Space Dog. I forgot about this. The robot head is voiced by Miley Cyrus, by the way. <laughs> Little Doctor Strange. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all in for that. Like, they better be in the next movie. In Guardians 3. Lord, like, down the line, would you, like, down the line, would you be okay if, like, they became part of the new Guardians? Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, the Guardians were, like, the Avengers. They're, like, a, yeah, they're an ever changing. People, like, group. joined and left or died or whatever. Don't say that. Like, I'm just what? saying. Like, Captain America. Stop. I ain't funny. So next on the docket, we got Spider-Man, Homecoming, Tomorrow, and then Thor Ragnarok on <sighs> Monday. Obviously, each one of these will probably be released the day afterwards because mm -hmm. we, we release on Patreon a day early. So there's some incentive to go over to Patreon and check that out. Sadiq. <laughs> really? God. <laughs> <laughs> Just the name on this. I know. <laughs> anyway. And tomorrow will be a special commentary because... I think tomorrow should be special because we're going to hit 10K by tonight. Oh, it'll be probably within the next half hour. So tomorrow for the Spider-Man Homecoming commentary, we're going to have a group commentary. It's going to be awesome and stuff. You should be there. You should be there, is that what you just said? <laughs> yeah. Well, you can be there with us every step of the way. If you watch our commentaries. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. It's such... The greatest adaptation from comic book to screen of Spider-Man. Oh, it's so and good. And Peter Parker. It's so good. I, I, think, I think as of now, it goes Spider-Man Homecoming... Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 1, Amazing Spider-Man, then Spider-Man 3, and then Amazing Spider-Man 2. That's my order. I'm but, okay with that. Oh. Dude. She looks really hot right here. We freaked out. I'm the, not going to lie. Even with all the gold. Even with all, like. They are perturbed. The word you don't hear often. Is she the woman that laughed at Taser Face? Yep. <laughs> Dude, we freaked out in the theater. But, like, there was only, like, six people in the theater, including us, that freaked out. Yeah, and it's like, wait, Even some Adam? people in our group were like, what? <laughs> the hell is that Like, shit? of all the names you could give it, Adam? Yeah, last name. Warlock, Warlock bitch. Blech. Not Warlock, bitch. Just like... <laughs> 
Adam Warlock, bitch. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we're going to do a group commentary for Spider-Man Homecoming, and then it'll just be us to close out the Road to Infinity War on Monday with Thor Ragnarok. Um, and then, like we said, we'll be doing Black Panther when it comes out on DVD or digital. Probably digital first. We can probably go ahead and just do it when it comes out. Because it usually comes out on digital, what, like two weeks before? Something like that. We'll probably do it digitally first, and then, uh, obviously, I <laughs> love Neb- Nebula dancing. <laughs> Mantis. I do like it's fun. Uh and then we'll do we have to do Infinity War when it comes out, well, obviously. Pfft, duh. Bear shit in the woods. <laughs> There's Peter's grandpa. <laughs> Rocket. Isn't the Grand Master in here? Is he? He's right no, there. Yep. This was two movies before Thor Ragnarok. Getting down and dirty with a Procyon loader. If you've ever seen the music video for this, it's freaking insane. <laughs> it's a trip. Sequoia. Walk by, people say, oh boy. That would be a cool tattoo. I not for me, it. not for me, but... <laughs> I wouldn't get it. <laughs> not for me, but I think it would look like a, like a cool tattoo. Like, was a planet. Zadu hustle frown, Zadu hustle frown. Nice ego. Now this is probably four years later, more close to Infinity War. Yeah. His facial hair is even very similar to the trailer at the end when he. Mm-hmm. Who the hell are you guys? <laughs> Like he's going straight for the policeman's mustache there. Like, yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> well, I think it's a good soundtrack, man. I, I like it too. So while this is closing out, guys, uh, we didn't talk about it in the beginning, but make sure you guys head over to tblocks.com. Uh, they just revamped their website. It's a really cool geek t-shirt subscription service. They have really cool stuff. You go on and you pick your interests. You're not going to get the same shirt as everyone else. And if you use our code IconicTBX, you'll save 10% off of your order. Also, over to Quinn. Take it away. We are Groot. And that translates to... Why don't we watch the last after credit scene before we do anything else? <laughs> There's like five? Yeah. <laughs> oh, gee. Excelsior. There you guys have it. Guardians of the Galaxy. And before we close out, we do want to mention, go over to the Stardust app. Follow us on there at Iconic Comic. That's where you're going to see all our reactions to movies that we go see in the theater. Um, and we're definitely going to be on there this Thursday after we see Avengers Infinity War. I do have an idea, though. Since to celebrate, like just some different stuff to celebrate 10K. We'll, obviously, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff. But, you know, how about for Infinity War, we do a couple Stardust reactions with some, di- with some people at the theater. You know what? Maybe, maybe that maybe that could be our new sort of maybe, waiting line maybe kind not. of thing. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. All right. Is there anything else you can think of? Um. Cool. If you oh, guys like what you saw, make sure you guys like, Check us, comment, share, <laughs> and subscribe, so that you can get us to 10k, and so you don't miss anything from this channel. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Stay iconic and cue music. Holy grail. <laughs>